flying by the seat of your pants, content spread everywhere, are you lacking a clear path to profit? Without having a value ladder, it is a journey without a destination in your wellness business. So does your content system take into consideration where you're leading your ideal client? Or is your system more of a fly by the seat of your pants, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something will eventually stick? If that's you, I understand far too well because that was me as well. So if you're always creating unique content without a clear path to profit, you're leaving yourself short. You're left with a lifetime's worth of content, but you'll have no clients because without a value ladder, it is a journey without a destination in your wellness business. A value ladder is not just a sales funnel. A value ladder is a roadmap to your high ticket offer. Now, this is key. It's a roadmap that guides your clients on a journey of growth and transformation the same way you would do if you were coaching with them one one The base of your value ladder is your free content. This can be your blog post, your podcast, your YouTube channel, your free Facebook group, or a mix and match of all of the above. You see, that's where it can be confusing. Well, I know it was for me. I did in the beginning of my business. Your sales funnel's purpose is to take them from being an ideal client to a paid client. And your sales funnel and value ladder are connected with the customer journey. But what exactly is a customer journey? A customer journey is a path a client takes from initial awareness or just finding you and your wellness services through the final decision to work with you into a loyal fan that is out there speaking your praises. It's a map of the different stages that they move through before making a decision that you're the right one to help solve their problem. And the customer journey typically consists of several stages. That includes awareness, consideration, decision, and then again, that loyalty phase at the very end. Your client's needs and expectations differ at each one of those stages, and your marketing efforts should also reflect. Your free content, whether again, that's your blog, your podcast, your YouTube channel, or your free Facebook group, is essential in that customer journey. It fits into the awareness stage where clients become aware of you and your services because those let you expand out beyond just the social media posting. So avoid the journey without a destination in your business. A clear process or system for creating free content considers the destination. I bet you're wondering how a clear content system can help you avoid the journey without a destination. By creating free content, you are attracting potential clients and building trust with them. Your audience will feel that you are genuinely interested in helping them when you provide value in informative content. And I'm only going to guess that you cannot help but provide that value in informative content because you're doing it naturally without any effort. When you sit down to create your content, part of the system determines how that content fits into your overarching marketing plan. In other words, it must flow into your free offer. Are you not even sure how to set up your content system? We all need coaches. If you feel the call, I invite you to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. The link will be down below in the show notes. We can work on your content system together. So are you curious about the number of times an ideal client needs to see your offer before signing up? It's a lot more than you think. As a matter of fact, the Online Marketing Institute suggests that it can take up to 20 touch points to generate a sale from a cold lead. And when we're thinking touch points, that's everything. Like they listen to your podcast or they read your blog or they see your social media posts or they're on your email list. Your email list is actually the best one, but they have all of those different things that they're getting those touch points and learning more about you and how you can actually help solve their problems. 
It's also worth noting that the quality of those touch points is just as important as the quantity friends. Providing valuable content and personalized attention can help to build that trust and increase the likelihood that they'll want to work with you one-on-one. It's about creating an engaging journey for your clients. So designing a narrative that inspires and engages your ideal client is also essential to the success of your online business and your wellness coaching. Creating a value ladder is not simply about building a sales funnel friend. It's about creating an engaging journey for your future clients. Every step of the ladder should provide value to your client and should lead them closer to the ultimate goal, which is your high ticket offer. Each step should be a stepping stone that builds on a trusting relationship with your ideal client. Because we buy from people we trust. I know that is true for me, and I'm pretty sure it's probably true for you. It should be aligned with your values, like who you are as a person. You need to make sure that you're in integrity with the things that you say and the things that you do. So let's just imagine for a moment that you're a coach who provides wellness services to help people achieve their goals. Your free content could be your blog or your podcast that offers valuable tips and advice to your audience on the different elements that go into setting and achieving wellness goals. From there, you can offer a low-priced digital product or a course that digs deeper into your subject matter. Do you see how critical your content management system is to the growth of your business? So as your clients move up the value ladder, they will encounter higher priced offers that provide more personalized attention and guidance from you. For example, you can offer one-on-one coaching or a group coaching program. The ultimate goal is a high ticket offer, such as your VIP coaching packages that provide the highest value to your ideal client and generate the most revenue. And the reason why they need to generate the most revenue is because it takes the most of your time. The benefits of a value ladder is that it allows you to go deep with your clients. Rather than offering a wide range of unrelated services, you can focus on one offer and increase its value to your customers. This strategy is more effective because it allows you to build relationships with your clients. To truly understand this pain point and desire, which allows you to offer them tailored solutions that will meet their specific needs. Do you see the significance now of a value ladder? Because it's a powerful way to grow your business while at the same time providing your clients with the best possible experience of what it's like to work with you. So if you're a small business owner looking to take your business to the next level, consider implementing a value ladder into your growth strategy. It can be the key to unlocking the success you've been dreaming of. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you and I hope you make it a wonderful week. Yay, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you found this episode valuable and learned some actionable tips that you can implement in your business so that you can feel accomplished and less stressed. If you enjoyed this show, Please take a quick minute to share this with your business bestie, subscribe, and leave a review. It helps me reach more business owners just like you. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future episodes, please reach out to me on my website. I've created a form just for you. Remember, with the right system and mindset, you can achieve the success your heart desires. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget, let's grow friends. Mm-hmm.